Hi. Um, good morning from a beautiful Sedona. Our topic today is about how to improve our ability to focus. And uh, this ability to focus is not only important for students when they go, when they need to study, when they need to go for exam, but also important for, for professionals when they need to make decisions, when they need to have a discussion and a meeting with other people. And uh, talking about this ability to focus, um, we know there are exercises, there are workshops to teach people how to focus. And of course, we can also do meditation to improve our focusing ability. All these are from the positive sides. Today, I would like to invite all of us to explore from the other side, which is the negative sides. And uh, we, when talking about negative sides, uh, we might have a disturb people's uh, focus when they try to focus. And uh, in the context of the seeds, the diamond cutter principles, we have what we we have a tool, life tool called four powers, that can help us to weaken our bad, uh, past bad seeds. Now, what is the first power? The first power is understanding that our inability to focus today might have been caused by our past bad seeds that we planted in the past by disturbing people who try to focus. For example, maybe in a meeting when people are discussing something important and uh, we re and suddenly our phone rings and disturbing people. Or when people are trying to meditate and uh, we actually accidentally uh, disturb their focus during meditation. All this actually will plant bad seeds that is causing us not able to, unable to focus today. So knowing this, we go to the second power which is intelligent regret. We know all those are bad and we regret what we have done in the past intelligently. And of course number three is that we set an intention to refrain from disturbing people who has to people who need to focus for a certain period of time maybe uh, for a day or for two days depending on our individual's own ability and number four is to re to balance to balance the bad seats with the good seats and talking about the bad seats here is basically the other way around uh, is the opposite of my examples just now in a meeting for example when our phone which is in uh, silent mode there is an incoming call if it is important and we need to answer the call we can actually step out of the room and answer the call or when we know that people are trying to meditate we try to keep and maintain our silence as well maybe uh, we can do so by clearing our throat earlier clearing our nose earlier and so that we don't disturb people who want, who are trying to meditate in the same room with us so all those are a few things that uh, we can actually uh, consider when we need to improve our ability to focus. And uh, I really invite all of you, all of us to look at it from the other side, different from the norm that we are so used to. So I hope this is useful to you and uh, thank you very much for watching.